Mythical Mommy at MyMommyManual.com, and I am here today with Carrie Silverstock, who is the author of the book Secrets Girls Keep, which is coming out this November. And Carrie, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about your background. Well, I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and I've spent most of my professional life working with young people, whether it was in schools or hospitals or community settings. Mm -hmm. And I went out on my own a few years ago and started GirlsWithDreams.com. Very cool, and that is a site that is dedicated to teen girls, mm -hmm. that's correct, and there's a lot of um, video posts from teens themselves, that's is that Definitely, right? yeah, it's really empowering for teens, I wanted teens to be able to share their own tips and ideas for each other. It's great, it's great. So tell me, we're, we're talking to Carrie a little bit today, um, for all you moms of tweens and teens, on how to keep those lines of communication open with your children, because that's a really critical age. Mm -hmm. It's very hard, because especially when kids get to about fifth grade, um, they start to pull away a little bit, and this is normal. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> for all you parents out there that are, you know, wondering what's going on with my daughter, or even, you know, my son, that fifth, sixth grade, the friend and social element becomes very, very important to them. And I'm not saying that they're not gonna be your bud or hang out with you, but you're gonna see more of an emphasis on their social life. So how, um, what, you know, one piece of advice can you share with us that will help um, parents navigate that that time? Well, it is really important to keep those communication lines open, just to work on that. Um, so you want to respect their space and their new friendships that they're forming, um, but figure out new ways to keep communication. So it might be passing a journal back and forth with each other, mm -hmm. or it might just ma be making sure that you still have some family time or special moments. Maybe um, you know you and your daughter love to go get your nails done together, or you just have breakfast on Saturdays, or whatever that special time is for you. And, and it you know shouldn't be we're going to do this special thing and we have to talk but it's just creating that space mm -hmm. um, to build the, that relationship with with her and that's obviously creating that um, connection whenever you know not just because there's a crisis right. or there's an issue that's exactly that's coming definitely well thank you so much Carrie um, and thanks for being with us and sharing your tips thank you so much for having me